Hello, welcome to the home brewer in San Diego. My name is George, and today we're going to brew your first batch of beer. Brewing beer is easy and consists of steeping grains, adding extract, boiling the hops, and adding yeast to our cooled wort, which is what we call unfermented beer. A basic brewing kit should include cleaner, sanitizer, measuring equipment, something to ferment in, a bottling bucket, and a capper. We have our equipment at home, so first we need to pick a recipe. We're going to brew an oatmeal stout. We have some flaked oats that we're going to put on the side because we don't want to mill those. We're going to gather our specialty grains, chocolate malt, some victory malt, and caramel 80, as well as roasted barley. These grains will be responsible for providing the color, flavor, and aroma to our beer. Now that we have our grains, we're going to crush them in the mill. These are the steeping grains. Next, we need to grab our hops and our yeast. These will be specified for each recipe. We also need to grab some extract. Back at home, prepare sanitizer in a bucket or a large bowl. We can leave all of our equipment in the sanitizer while we brew. Let's put three gallons of water in the freezer. We'll use this later and add two gallons of water to our pot. Bring the temperature up to about 155 degrees. Add your grains to a muslin or nylon bag and steep for 30 minutes. You can turn off the stove now and stir gently, and if you need to raise the temp, then use low heat. Our goal is to keep the temp in the 150 to 160 range and avoid steeping the grains warmer than 170 because this will extract harsh flavors. After 30 minutes of steeping, we will remove the grains, but don't squeeze the bag because this can also extract harsh flavors. What we can do is hold the grains over the pot and let them drip dry. Once the grains are removed, turn the stove to high and wait for a boil. If we need to, we can cover the pot now, but once we are boiling, we need to allow the steam to escape. Again, this is to avoid some unpleasant flavors. Once at a boil, we will add the extract. There are a lot of ways to do this. I like to add half of the extract now and the other half during the last 20 minutes of the boil. Also, beware a boil over. Leave your spoon over the top of the pot or use a spray bottle with water to keep the foam from overflowing. Now that we have added our extract and bittering hops, we set our timer for a 60 minute boil. With 20 minutes left, we'll add the rest of the extract and some yeast nutrient. This recipe only called for one addition of hops, which we did at the very beginning of the boil. After 60 minutes of boiling, turn off the stove and add one to two gallons of water from the freezer. This will help drop the temperature. Don't forget to sanitize your carboy. Use a siphon to transfer the wort into a fermenter. Here, we are using an auto siphon to fill a glass carboy. A funnel will work as well. Try to leave the hops and other gunk in the boil kettle. Top off the fermenter to the five gallon mark. Now is the time to take a gravity reading. Write this down. We'll use this later to determine the alcohol level. Shake well for four to five minutes and add the yeast. Be careful when using this kind of yeast as it will sometimes overflow when opening. Feel free to shake the wort before and or after adding the yeast. You really can't overdo it. Add a sanitized stopper and airlock, cover with a t-shirt, and store in a cool, temperature-stable location. If possible, fill a large tub with water and leave your fermenter in there. This will help maintain a stable temperature. The beer will ferment for 10 to 14 days before it is ready to bottle. Thank you for visiting us online. We look forward to seeing you next time that you're at the shop.